interesting and little-known facts about dogs. Have you ever wondered what your dog is thinking? What would it say if it could talk? Being a dog owner is great, but it's pretty frustrating that your best friend can't talk to you. Anyone who has ever owned a dog can tell you that the bond between dog and owner is special, unparalleled. Your dog can sense your mood, in sadness and enjoy your furry friend will always be with you. There are many myths about what dogs see, how they feel, and who they are. Although all dogs are different, the following 10 points will tell you what your dog has dreamed of telling you all these years. Dogs are the best pets one could wish for, and they are also the best companions. If you love your dog, be sure to watch this video as it will help you get even closer to your best friend and learn interesting facts about him. Have you ever noticed your dog acting strangely for no reason and then a few hours later starting a thunderstorm? That's because dogs sense changes in the weather before humans can sense them. Because of their excellent hearing, dogs can hear higher and lower frequencies. They can hear peals of thunder that the human ear can't pick up. Not only can dogs hear better than humans, they also have a keener sense of smell. A dog's nose is so sensitive that it can detect smells much faster than the human nose. Dogs in general are more sensitive to changes in atmospheric pressure. Puppies come into the world completely helpless. They are blind, deaf, toothless and just plain adorable. In their first week of life, puppies spend 90% of their time sleeping and the other 10 on food. Unable to walk, puppies begin their lives crawling. Their eyes, closed at birth, open when they are about two weeks old. Once their eyes open, they begin to explore their surroundings. Puppies' ears begin to function at about two weeks of age as well. By three weeks, they can hear well. The puppy depends on its mother for the first few weeks of its life. They rely on the mother for food, comfort, and learning the basic rules of behavior. This is why when you purchase a puppy, you need to wait a certain period of time after they are born so that they are ready for you to take them home. A dog's nose print is as unique as our fingerprints. If you look closely at a dog's nose, you can see lines forming patterns, just like on our fingerprints. Before that, the accepted way to identify a dog was to take their paw prints, but that method has gone into oblivion because it is not as accurate as their nose prints. All animal breeders and trainers are required to have their dog's nose prints in case they ever need to be identified or insured. Dogs raise their hind legs as a gesture of dominance it is not at all surprising that male dogs want to demonstrate their dominance. Many people know that dogs mark new places with their urine, marking their territory. Raising his hind leg to urinate allows the dog to leave his urine higher off the ground than usual. This allows the odor to stay there longer, since some dogs won't be able to reach the same level, plus it takes away the marks left by other male dogs. Dogs leave their scent on things in layers. The most dominant dog's scent stays at the highest level, while less dominant male dogs can leave their scent only below the level. A dog's brain center for smell is 40 times larger than ours a dog relies on its sense of smell to interpret the world around it, just as humans rely on sight. When you see a dog sniffing something, it is the equivalent of a human looking around his surroundings. Dogs do this in order to understand and become familiar with their surroundings, so he is less likely to sniff everything in his home than when he is led into a new and unfamiliar place. A dog's brain is tuned to detect smells. Dogs see dreams the same way people do anyone who has ever owned a dog has noticed how he twitches and squints in his sleep. Dogs dream and their dreams are actually very similar to ours. A dog's size can also determine how long it sleeps. Larger breeds of dogs only dream once every 45 to 60 minutes, but the length of their naps is 5 to 10 minutes. Smaller breeds dream every 10 minutes, but the length of their naps is only a minute. Puppies and older dogs dream more often than middle-aged dogs. The amount of sleep a dog needs to rest depends on his activity during the day. Even though they spend most of their time sleeping, dogs are easier to wake than people. Dogs can have a variety of dreams, including bad and good ones. If your dog is having a nightmare, don't panic. When they wake up, they may feel disoriented, but they soon realize that what they dreamed was a dream. 
Tailwagging also has a language of its own people often have the misconception that tailwagging means that the dog is happy or looking forward to something. Although tailwagging does mean these things as well, it can also be a signal that a dog is scared or feeling insecure. Like any language, tailwagging has its own grammar and vocabulary to understand. When your dog wags his tail, you have a lot to think about, so pay more attention to it, as tail wagging is a way for a dog to communicate. Dogs don't sweat the way we do dogs mostly sweat through the pads of their paws. Their skin and underarm area do not contain sweat glands like humans do. Dogs get rid of excess heat through rapid breathing, so many people think they sweat through their mouths, but they don't. Dogs sweat during physical activity, just like people do. However, some dogs need more attention in this matter than others. Bulldogs and pugs, for example, have a very difficult time breathing. Dogs of these breeds are at a higher risk of overheating because they have a hard time breathing. Body language is much more effective than words. Many of us talk to our dogs as if they were people. This is a very widespread phenomenon. As humans, we like to talk. So we talk to our pets, who unfortunately, for the most part, do not understand what we are saying. Although they understand individual words such as cookie, walk, or sit, it is difficult for them to understand the entirety of verbal communication. Dogs notice your body language much better than they understand what you say to them. Telling your dog to stay where he is, leaning forward toward him, is a guarantee that he will understand you better. Dogs need order and rules. Dogs are just like children, they need order and rules. Dogs need to know who the pack leader is and if you don't take on that role, your dog will never listen to you. Sometimes it's very hard to yell at your little furry friend, but they need discipline. If they are normally allowed to jump on you, they won't understand why you suddenly stop letting them do it when you're in costume. Dogs can be taught what you can and can't. Do and it's up to you to draw the lines so that they understand that. You have to be the pack leader in your house.